Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey yo, yo, can I give y'all a little exclusive? So I did the yeah. Joe Budden podcast yesterday. You know, and I'm tapping in with, you know what I mean, the boy, the GOAT. And 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 I said, listen, you know, we have our private conversations this and third. And I said, one of the only things he wanted, at least yesterday, he said, yo, he said, act, when you get on that podcast, nigga, let these niggas know fucking nigga Kendrick to drop his shit that we could get active. His words exactly. Let's get active. Okay. That's, That's what he what said. Let's get active. Tell him to drop that we can get active. That's what I want to hear. That's Look, what I want to hear. Yo, yo, I don't care what y'all niggas say. A plus for no sneak dissing, calling niggas out by name, chin checking them, calling niggas out. That Jay Z shit where you rapping hieroglyphics, I'm dissing but not saying your name. It's over. Metro, you a you you a you used to be a blood roller. I like it. One more time. What top five are you smoking on, Kendrick? Mm, mm, wait, yeah, drop. Wait. I swear I'm on the song. Drop and give me 50 on you. A niggas teaming up. What top five are you smoking on, Kendrick? <laughs> I think it was on crack when he said that shit. Mm. One more time. I ain't gonna cut it off. One more time. Holy. What top five are you smoking on, Kendrick? Kendrick, he's begging you to drop. The these shenanigans is over. Drop your fucking four-year-old song that you could get demolished. Is this what Drake had to do to make y'all favorite rapper rap? He had to diss 20 niggas and then harmonize at the end of the track. Drop, just drop, drop. I'm ready. He's squaring up. It's squabble time. He's begging Kendrick to drop. The double dutcher, the back peddler. I thought you wanted smoke, let's go! I would say, and this is the best analogy, Drake is LeBron James. He's yeah. been the most consistent at a high level for a long time, but there's been a lot of people who've ate on his watch, a lot. And okay. Kendrick is one of them, Cole is one of them. Mm -hmm. They've ate on his watch. Bron's record in the finals is still what? So who would Kendrick, Four and six. Who would Kendrick be? Kobe, maybe? Yeah, oh God, Taylor, please. Some people say Kendrick Lamar listened to Drake's diss track and came to the studio with Metro Boomin to fire back. They're rumored to be pretty upset about what Drake said, supposedly declaring, we've had it. If he wants to play like that, we can play too. While all of this was happening, The Weeknd took to Instagram and shared a video clip from what looks like one of his music videos. In the clip, he's sitting, laughing, and munching on popcorn, suggesting that he's just chilling and observing the rap feud unfold. His name the subliminals, mother the big three. It's just big me. Right. Why don't maybe, you think maybe Drake feels he doesn't need to talk to anybody I, I do, beneath I him? Am interested in seeing Cole Kendrick Lamar Kendrick. is not beneath like Drake. I mean, Kendrick Lamar got a Pulitzer Prize. Kendrick Lamar got mad Grammys. Kendrick Lamar sells millions of records. Kendrick Lamar sells out tours all over the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is nothing beneath. DJ Academics got a text from Drake asking him to tell Kendrick Lamar to come up with a reply on an episode of the Joe Budden podcast. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey yo, yo, can I give y'all a little exclusive? So I did the yeah. Joe Budden podcast yesterday. You know, and I'm tapping in with, you know what I mean, the boy, the GOAT. And, and, and I said, listen, you know, we have our private conversations this and third. And I said, one of the only things he wanted, at least yesterday, he said, yo, tell that motherfucking nigga Kendrick to drop his that we could get active. His words exactly. Let's get active. Okay. That's, That's what he said. Here. Let's get active. Tell him to drop that we can get active. That's Another rapper, Rick Ross, joined in on the reaction. He shared a video on his Instagram story showing him laughing while listening to Drake's new song that came out earlier in the day. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Surprisingly, another rapper, Young Thug, reacted to the situation in an unexpected way. While in court for his case, he put on headphones and started listening to Drake's diss track. Right in the middle of the court case, he began nodding along to the music. It was one of the most unexpected and wild reactions to the whole situation. All right, do we have um, Mr. Murphy? Okay, all right, can we go ahead and bring him in, please? C. 
Aziza, one of the people mentioned in the diss track, shared her thoughts on Instagram. She seemed puzzled about why she was even brought up in the track. However, Drake seems to have other things on his mind to deal with. So no, I just thought it was it. And you could have did now, it. See, no, I, get I did it she never I apologized. Did 50 Cent found out about the leaked Drake diss track and went on social media to share his thoughts on the intense song. All you guys got smoked by a light-skinned guy. 50 wrote in response to the diss, which takes aim at Kendrick Lamar, Metro Boomin, and others. LOL y'all better get high as a MF and come up with something. We thought 50 Cent would react, but he responded surprisingly quickly, especially since he was mentioned in the diss track. Also, a streamer named Adam Ross reacted to the diss track and left a comment about it. Drake is better than every other rapper combined. He's the greatest to ever pick up a mic. There are levels to this, something I think the fans are going to support him for saying. Drake's latest diss track has caused a big stir, taking aim at different people in the hip-hop world. In his lyrics, Drake says he's the top dog, claiming he's had a big impact on other artists' success and suggesting they don't have the same worldwide impact as him. He's basically saying he's irreplaceable in the music industry. In the diss track, Drake shines a spotlight on himself, saying he's better than others with his worldwide popularity. He also criticizes their recent songs and how famous they are. Drake seems upset that others are claiming connections to Toronto, where he's from and he's not holding back, using strong words to show he's at the top of the music world. His lyrics also suggest there's been tension building up for a long time. Here's a breakdown of some key lines. I could never be nobody, number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Drake hints that he played a big role in helping another artist get their first number one hit, kind of like a mentor guiding them to success. You guys can't get booked outside America for Nan. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. In the diss track, Drake talks about how he's way more famous worldwide compared to Kendrick, Metro, and J. Cole, who aren't as well-known outside of their own areas. He points out that he's even popular in places like Japan, showing just how big his fan base is. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the F you big, steppin' with a size 7 men's on? This the bark with the bite. What's up? This line in the diss track makes fun of Kendrick's size and suggests that he might not have what it takes to handle a conflict, using it as a metaphor. Your last one, Bricked, you really not on Esh. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Drake isn't holding back. He's saying Kendrick's recent music isn't good, hinting that he's losing his touch. What is a 20 versus one? What's a prince to a king? He a son. In the diss track, Drake sees himself as the king, while Kendrick, Metro, and J. Cole might see themselves as princes, suggesting he's above them in the rap game. But now, I want to hear what you think about this, considering Drake's diss track and how people are reacting in the hip-hop world. Do you think this will change things between Drake and the other rappers he mentioned? Will they keep dissing each other, or could they maybe work together or sort things out? Comment down below.